The owners of an Oakland County construction company claim they did $2 million in business last year. But if you look at their website, you might think they're big time licensed builders. The problem solver Rob Wolchak says they're big time bamboozlers. In reality, the company consists of two guys. They admit to me they have no employees, no licenses, but they do have a nifty way of fooling their customers. Meet Chris. Yeah, I got felonies. And his partner, Justin. I'm not even talking. Well, I'm talking to you. Two guys who have an interesting way of running their construction company. Are you licensed? Uh, no. Nope. And if you don't like their work. He was swearing when we were talking. Uh, he was asking for money, like, right now. You might get cussed out. He said to me, you can my all day long. The elevation is right. There are lots of questions in this story and some weird answers. This is so stupid. Why would you not get a license unless you can't get one? I guess it would be laziness, okay? There's no compassion from them. They don't care if we live down here in, in garbage. This is Tony and his girlfriend, Tony. I'm like having panic attacks. Panic attacks because they've been living in an unfinished basement of what is supposed to be their retirement dream house. The nightmare started when they hired JD Construction of Waterford for a $168,000 remodeling project. We went and pulled the permits, which he, he told us would be cheaper if we did that. They say company co-owners owner Justin Hudson told them he had plenty of manpower. And we have a 30-man crew. But Tony and Tony say no employee from J.D. Hudson has ever lifted a hammer at the house. It's all been subcontracted out. Tony isn't a rich guy. He's a Vietnam veteran. He's 70 years old and is still working full time. And he's given Justin and his partner, Krista Brucker, $140,000 of his life savings so far. And the job's not merely done because J.D. Hudson demands more money. And they sure aren't friendly about it. His aggressive attitude is way off the charts. This J.D. Hudson customer says the same thing happened to him. Like, listen, man, I really need this money. You know, I got four kids. Where the, where the F is the money? He, too, hired Hudson for remodeling. Here's the finished work, a door they put in that doesn't close, a light switch that's not even in the wall, ceiling lights without covers, drywall cutouts leaving big gaps around the switches. This area between the roof and chimney is supposed to be repaired. It's right there on the contract. So the customer held out the final payment, but J.D. Hudson had a trick up their sleeve. They had the ladder on the side of the, the house to go up to, what I thought was to go up to the roof to put the flashing on the roof. Gave them the check for $1,000, and then I went back to work. They cashed the check and didn't do the work. Said he had a uh, 30-man crew. Tom hired J.D. Hudson to build a deck and garage. Says Justin told him he had a big company. He did everything himself. Uh, he did his own concrete. He, he had all of his own equipment. And when it, came, when it was all said and done, he didn't have any equipment. Tom says what Justin said would be a three-week job turned into a three-month job. We were always arguing about money. When Tom demanded to see Justin's contractor's license, he gave him this. That's not Justin's license. That's Justin's dad's license. So if Justin and Chris don't have licenses, how does the company get permits for these jobs that require licensed builders? He suggested you go get the permit. That we get the permit because they're more likely to give it to you sooner and that it would be cheaper. Yeah, if you're the homeowner, you can pull the permit if you're taking on the job yourself. But Isabel hired J.D. Hudson to do her deck. It wouldn't pass inspection, but J.D. Hudson wasn't on the hook. Isabel was because she pulled the permit, which, by the way, she says, didn't save her a dime. Tony says they talked him into pulling his own permits as well. So there's no licensed builder registered with the city on this gigantic job. I don't want to cry on camera. I'm okay. You know what? People get, he'll get his. Yes, he will. Right now. Are you licensed? Uh, nope. Was always through another license. So don't you say on your website that you're licensed? It was through my dad's license forever and always. Yeah? Yes, sir. So you're doing work like on that Tony and Tony's house under your dad's license? It was, yes. Yep. He's throwing his old man under the bus. Justin says he's just the salesperson on the jobs. 
The law requires a license for that as well. He acts like he never even heard of that. So you don't have a builder salesperson license either, do you? A, a builder's license? Uh, a salesperson, a builder salesperson no, license. No, I do not. Tony and Tony said they gave Justin 30 grand for siding. The siding, the trim, and everything's done. Painted, installed. Hmm, I don't see it. Remember this customer's house? You were supposed to flash the chimney. You never did that. No, that's not, I did not flash the chimney, of course, because it wasn't needed to be flashed. He was going to get the roof done. There's two sides to every story. I've never taken anybody's money. I've never done anything wrong to any client, any customer whatsoever. Chris, Jason's partner, demands to speak with me as well. Remember what Tony said Chris told her when she complained about the elevation of the garage? He said to me, you can my all day long. Did you tell the lady, Tony, mm -hmm. that she could suck your Absolutely not. Okay, so he denies that, but he doesn't deny this. Why are you running a construction company without having a license? I don't understand this. Why don't you have a license? Because Why doesn't able, Jason have a license? We're able or to Justin. do the work. Both Chris and Justin claim their customers know they're unlicensed. You said I'm unlicensed? Oh yeah, they knew from the jump that we was unlicensed. Well, your website says otherwise, and so does this undercover video we shot. And you guys have all the license you need Insurance and permits and, and everything, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And here comes the move to bamboozle the customer into pulling his own permit. Permits? Um, you know what, I wouldn't even pull a permit here. If you want to pull a permit, I would suggest just for budget purposes to just go ahead and pull it on a homeowner. J.D. Hudson, a construction company run by this guy. Why don't you get a contractor's license? I don't need one. And the guy who hands out his dad's license when push comes to shove. Remember, he said this. So you're doing work like on that Tony and Tony's house under your dad's license? It was, yes. Now he says this. So if Tony and Tony decide to sue, who are they going to sue? Are they going to sue you or your dad? Can't sue my dad. He has nothing to do with it. Well, His who's license? the contractor? Me. Well, and you got paid, so who's the licensed contractor on the job? There isn't one licensed contractor on the job. I did the job over there. J.D. Hudson? More like J.D. Hustlin'. You're in the Hall of Shame. <laughs>